So it does know if you've been, there's a fish. Two fish at the same time. <laughs> Hell yeah, doubled up right under the kayak. All right, good morning, boys and girls. My name is Dennis, this is SoCash Fishing. And well, we are on the water, currently sitting in my salty, setting up the GoPros. Got all the tackle behind me, and guess what? We are fishing a tournament, ran by, whoa. Just had a swirl right here in front of me. I feel like that's a turtle though. Usually they get curious. Anyway, Backyard Bass Masters set up this tournament, online tournament, on the Fish Donkey app. And we are going to fish for largemouth bass and peacock bass in Miami Dade County. Online tournament, first one to be honest, and pretty stoked, pretty excited. Can't wait to get started here as the sun coming up. I got all my tackle rigged and this is a new area for me so i don't really know what to expect to be honest and we're going to show you the experience from this moment on <laughs> i plan on fishing pretty hard today uh maybe jumping into a few spots so we're going to fish fast and hopefully we can put together a decent stringer so there are four prizes four categories rather and that is largest peacock largest bass and then stringer of five for, uh, for largemouth bass and stringer of five for peacock bass. So hopefully we can uh, do pretty good here. Um, either way, glad to be part of it and hopefully I don't mess up. So got the catch board with me and we'll see what we get into. Stay tuned. Water seems really shallow too. I'm looking down, even though it's still dark, I could see the bottom. I don't really know what to expect. Just kind of picked a, a lake this morning in this area that is accessible by kayak. And here we are. We're gonna move quickly today, to be honest. Now I have been fishing for bass a lot lately. So I think, I think it'd be interesting to try to put up an actual decent bass. And this is also a length catch and release record recordings of the fish to, Enter the tournament. Mm -mm. This ain't no good, guys. Ooh, just spooked something here. Once again, we are we are in shallow here. We are very shallow, so oh, we gotta work with what we got for now. I did just spook something decent, but I don't I don't know what that was. Extremely clear water. I don't mind that. Oh boy, I don't think this is a good a good decision here on my end for a choice of lake. We do have other choices, so we can we can load up real quick and go to a different location. I think that's what we might have to do, to be honest. Hey, it would be nice to just knock out at least one good fish on this lake, just so it's not a waste of time. This seems like a little bit deeper here, deeper spot. I think we're gonna drop the pedal drive back down and kind of burn through here a little bit. You know, they say, and I've said this too before that just about any body of water has peacock bass. But I don't know, I have my doubts. <laughs> I have my doubts now. Because this just does not seem ideal in my opinion. But who knows? I mean, I just, I just got on the lake, so this is not really what I expected. You know, if you fish from shore, you might have an advantage in a lot of ways as far as moving to different types of water. But with the kayak, I'm able to get into a lot of different lakes, but also fish it a little more thoroughly, if that makes sense. I just have to drag and up the bank and uh, into the truck, so that's all. So what's cool about the Fish Donkey app, so the app that they're using for this tournament, I just got a notification. It's like live leaderboard results and stuff, so 
I know exactly where the rest of the guys are standing. Although I'm sure I'm gonna get quite a few uh, notifications today. But I do like the technology. It's pretty mind blowing that we can have a way to do this tournament from our pockets. And uh, it is geolocation tagged, so it does know if you've been... There's a fish. That's a nice largemouth here. Oh man. Actually pull and drag too. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, the Whopper Plopper first thing in the morning. Here I thought we were not going to catch a bass or anything at that point. And I think I proved myself wrong on the Whopper Plopper. Studly, studly bass. And we gotta get our way out of here. Holding the fish tight, that's for sure. All right, wow, dude. Oh. So, the rules for this is to take two pictures and a video of the release, right? So this is all done in the Fish Donkey app here. Large mouth bass. Oops. We're gonna have to measure it. Hold on. I do want a photo photo with it as well. Here we go. So he's measuring out to 20 inches, 20 inch bass. So he's probably like three pounds or so. Ugh. And we're gonna take a quick photo of this guy. That's cool. All right, well, I think it's recording. 20 inch bass here. Nice warm water too, huh? Boom, let's get it. All right, well, that's entered officially. And uh, pretty happy about that. Let's get this Whopper Plopper out and keep casting. Solid 20 inch bass to start. Who knows, maybe we could put a stringer of bass together in Miami. <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about before. I think I was talking about how to use the application and whatnot. Well, we just, uh, had a good example of how to use it. If uh, if you do post a larger bass or a larger peacock than your previous, it does automatically reset that for you and like place that in the correct category. I cannot believe how hard that, that bass was pulling hard. Almost cast into the tree. There's a, oh. Missed him. Missed him. All right, at least uh, at least we know that the bass are here. Wow, that looks like a hell of a little. Follow, follow, follow. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I yanked that guy. Wow. All right, here we got a non-native uh, 
Mayan cichlid here. I almost said Miami cichlid. Don't want you. Let's get right back into it. Uh, he, he gave a pretty good wake there, actually. Thought it was gonna be a peacock bass for a second. Oh man, that bass is all I needed to, to wake up this morning. I am quite happy here. I do wish I kind of had a fish finder here, but it's okay. That was the whole point. Kind of just wing it today and see if I can't make something happen without a fish finder. Mainly the fish finders for largemouth bass, really. So more tactically target largemouth bass, but there's the fish. Oh, wow. Another largemouth, wow. To be honest, he's looking pretty puny. So, calm down, I know you got a lot of energy. Throw him back, keep on keeping on here. All right, so currently tied on a new leader. I had 30 pound leader from inshore the other day. 12 pound leader, we got a live target swim bait here. Been really liking these lately and see if uh, anything hits on this here not really the way i want to target peacock here this is definitely not what i would normally do but i don't think there are too many peacock in here as of now so target is bass really there's a fish swimming right towards me Another nice bass. All right, hell yeah. Okay, doing pretty good with the bass. Like I said, that's a B. Okay, oh yeah. All right, sweet. All right, so without further ado, we're stringer of peacock or a largemouth bass enter a fish let's just go ahead and unhook them hit that right there life target slow roll shiner let's take our selfie first put it on this here catch board hopefully it don't flop off and he's measuring out to be 16 just over 16 and a half all right here we go we're gonna switch over to the video for the release. Oh yeah, 16 and a half. All right, mouth is closed. 16 and a half. Here we go. Boom. All right, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Everything's checked off. I can review my photos here. I could put largemouth bass, 16. I can't put 0.5, but that's okay. 16. Entered. Another one for the stringer. Awesome. Some good old Miami bass fishing. Okay, not what I expected today, but uh, really love these uh, these slow roll shiners, these these ones from Live Target because they're so durable. You can go through like 20 fish on one lure here. Let's get back to it. And we got a rogue strap here, making my life super easy. <clears throat> All right, just like that, we are on our way to the next spot. Uh, let's see what we can get into. Oh, I need some Celsius. I'm dying already. All right, never been here before. What? We're just gonna punch right through here. All right, hopefully we don't get spiders on us.
Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. Super clear water. Yeah, buddy. Epic. All right, let's get to work. This is already a very similar lake. Hope we get some peacocks going here. I could tell this lake doesn't get too, too, too much pressure. So a little bit of a drop off. That's nice. Let's make a deeper cast here. First five minutes on the lake. When are we gonna get the first bite, I wonder? Now, if any peacock are in this, in this body of water, I would definitely be able to see him. So preferably, I guess like my mindset going into this, this tournament, because there's two different species, I kind of want to use lures that would work both for largemouth and peacocks. That's uh, I guess what would make most sense, but so far we've only had largemouth hit the lures that we're using. But they are, they are general, generally what I would use for peacock as well. So see, we got some nice rock structure here. That area looks really good for peacock. I just don't see any. The bruiser bait, twitch bait, jerk bait. Here's a fish. Little largemouth. All right, first bass on the new area, in the new area here. All right, throw back. Oh. Okay, top water. Absolutely got crushed here. Come on, stay on. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh yeah. He's not huge, but it could be anything. It could be all but one inch of a difference in the stringer, you know? Top water. I think the bite for the top water is still on. What a chunker, man. All right. Let's log this one. You should log. Oh my God. Close your mouth. Jesus. He's just so tense. 14 and a half. Gone. So weeds, we got weeds. There's a fish. All right. On the crankbait, baby. <laughs> Catch him on everything. It's 15. 
On the crankbait. All right. 15. And the release. Boom. All right, guys. So I've been catching some fish here and there. Uh, really trying to change up tactics here, uh, as much as possible, but um, I'm using uh, the twitch bait, using the worm. But this is kind of where things start to slow down. And there's also a possibility to, to actually get a big one here. So we got to keep going. The bite's going to slow down, but um, yeah, we still got another spot that we could hit too. So got to keep our head in the game and I'm focused. All right, we're back in the truck. We're moving spots yet again. And well, I got the lead with largemouth bass for the stringer by 30 something, something inches. I got a 65 and a half and then Frank Gomez has 27. We got a chance for the largemouth bass, that's for sure, but we got to catch up severely for the peacock. All right guys, quick update. We just launched the boat once again. This is the third time today, by far the most times I've ever relaunched my kayak. So uh, this lake is blue, crystal clear blue. And I know there's peacock right here on this pipe. So we're about to score our first peacock, hopefully. Let's get it. That's a big peacock. That is what we're after right there. Wow. Wow, okay. Well, spinnerbait did not work. And I kind of messed this one up, drifting right over him. There's a peacock right here. Yeah, it's a peacock. Guys, we need to switch it up. I need some, I need some jigs or something. This is blasphemy. And I do not have any MV3 jig heads. Do I? Try a bonefish jig. All right, well, we literally have some absolute brutes right under us. Totally did not even see him.
and they do not want to hit the jig. That's wild. Probably because I spooked them just now, but I had no clue they were there. These are bedding peacock. Come on. These are some nice peacocks right here. This would be really nice for the tournament, that's for sure. There's one. Oh my god, he just came off. How did he come off? Oh my god. Well, he wanted that one. Aggressive. He came all the way to the boat. I can't believe he came off, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. How did that happen? Got treble hooks for days. Oh, terrible cut. I think I see him. Here's one. All right, finally. I'm sure this is a smaller one. Oh. Finally, we are, we are gonna mark a fish on the fish app. Please don't come off, please don't come off. Oh my God. Oh yeah, he's fighting good. I just hooked on the side. Never mind. Oh, he's fighting so good. All right, this is what we came here for. Belly hooked. All right, first peacock bass. Oh my God. First peacock bass of the tournament. Well, lo and behold, we got our first peacock bass of the tournament on the Bruiser Baits. Uh, jerk bait here. He's definitely not going to be top bass. But this this was the smaller one of the two. The other one came off. Uh huh. flop now all right release gone that took a long lot longer than I expected but 
There's gonna be a giant in here, I can feel it. Awesome. Awesome. Let's keep going. I see a peacock. I see a peacock. Oh. Bad cast, bad cast. Really, really, dude. Oh, that's a nice peacock, man. Wow. That would have been nice. Hmm. Lots of peacocks here. Awesome to see. This is a uh, true Miami peacock bass experience here. Crystal clear water, sight fishing them. There's a peacock. All right, that was nice. He followed it quite a bit. Barely hooked here. Another, to be honest, subpar. Good news is that we're just on them. We found them finally. All right, this one's 13, a little over 13 and a half here. And out he goes. All right, we switched over to something like this. This is a white crappie jig. And with very light drag, we can, we can do some damage with peacocks, but all right, let's try to get a little closer. Peacocks all over this place. That's a nice little guinea too. Okay. Alright, I see one right here. Been working on this guy for a little while. Sure if I just Wow, very aggressive. Those were very aggressive. I don't know which one's bigger. I'm trying to pick the biggest one. He's gonna hit this one. Can't believe he didn't hit it. All right, he's gonna hit this one. Never mind. Maybe this one. Oh man. Maybe it'll be this one. Oh, he hit it. <gasps> oh my God. I was fixing my rod tip. I had a wrap in the rod tip. And this peacock just came up and hit it. I was just losing my drag. Oh yeah, this one's a nice one. Here we go. Okay. Awesome. On the crappie jig. He hunted this one down, let me tell you. And it's a beautiful one too. On the crappie jig, boom. All right. So I noticed that if I do selfie first, oh yeah, and then switch the camera, I can get a, more streamlined measurement here. 
and he is 15 and a half right there. Beautiful peacock. A gun for this one. Here we go. Yeah, they're about the same size. That one's getting fired up too. Gotta love the crappie jig for peacock bass fishing. I mean, super light stuff. All right, here we go. Got another one in the boat. Here's the crappie jig. a fat one. It's got to be a nice one under here. There's one. Can't really tell if he's big or not, but Fighting him like he is. All right, there we go. Got a nice male here, beautiful male. I wonder how, how much longer this crappie jig can take, how much more of it can take, but. Boom. Alright, we got another one. It's uh, just under 15 and a half. We'll call it 15. Chunky little guy. Guys, just logged my fifth peacock bass. And my smallest one so far is 13 and a half, so we gotta upgrade that. And yeah, let's see what we can get. Here we go. Come on, be a good one. Oof. Oof, there's two more with them. Two more with them here. Oh, and this one's hitting the jig in the other fish's mouth. I think this one's a decent one too. Come on, buddy. Wow. Pulling my boat. Turning my boat sideways. I think we got a nice one here finally. Come on. up again there we go <laughs> wow I can't believe this we just doubled up boom <laughs> double baby <laughs> oh my god on the crappie jig absolutely obsessed with these things 
chill out, chill out. Wow, okay, so. All right, I think that's it for that school of fish here. All right, guys, I'm over here, peacock bass fishing in Miami, and check this out. We're logging two fish at the same time. <laughs> Hell yeah, doubled up right under the kayak. They're just all stacked up right here. There's another one. Oh man, this is incredible. Now this is peacock bass fishing. Just barely staying tight, just All right, there you go. Jump right in the net, buddy. This is a nicer one, too. Crappie jig doing the work. There it is. The all hell, the crappie jig. Okay. We're catching so many peacocks, guys. 16 and a half. There you go. Oh my God. So we finally hooked a, a nice one and sure enough, it's foul hooked. I hope he stays on. Drag is extremely loose, but he ripped. Come on. Come on, be a 20. Be a 20, man. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god. This is probably the biggest one of the day. The day. I stopped recording. I, I've caught so many fish since the last time. Oh no, he's. I think he's just about the same. Maybe 17? Come on, close your mouth. 16. Fought really good though. Damn. That was a killer fight though. Yeah. My crappie jig is suffering. Suffering to say the least. Yeah, this one's just about 15 and a half, 16 as well. Yep. We are not even measuring fish under 16 inches, so. Some pretty crazy stuff just happened. Um, casting forward, had a bump, and then I see them. I mean, they started fighting. There's like four or five, like really nice ones here. There's one. There's one, okay. Come on, stay on.
sloppy jig does it again. There was four of them, like all pretty nice size ones, and they're just kind of fighting over this lure. It's pretty incredible. Okay, let's see how big this guy is. We haven't gotten one over 16 in a long time. Our biggest, I think, is 17. A lot of these fish are the same, but I saw a ton of big ones down this way. This one is 16 as well. Look at that beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. It's probably the biggest one right here. And his partner wants it more than him. I think I got the smaller one, of course. There's one. That was ridiculous. All right, we're doubled up right here. There's one. And the smaller one. Yeah, this is, this is what you call epic peacock fishing. And this one's gonna go right back in. And I'm almost positive that this one's not gonna make it either. Again, these are all like, on the, on the bigger ones out of this group, they're all pretty much 16. 16, like I said, they are all the same size. They're all 16. I'm trying to catch a bigger one, but I can't. Okay, well, I think I finally found one that is good and of size, but he's not the one hooked up. So we're gonna have to try to double up again. This is ridiculous, guys. So many freaking bass. Oh yeah, super soaker. Think I think this one's a nice one here. Where are you hooked, buddy? 16 and a half. All right, and that's a wrap. We are back at the house. I decided I'm gonna call it. I did one day of this tournament and I'm dead. Fished it hard from all the way in the morning, three different spots with the old salty here. And I'm really glad I chose this boat. Guys, if you want to fish this tournament, go download Fish Donkey app. 
you won't want to miss it. We're going to be doing one of these tournaments every month. Uh, Backyard Bassmasters. Fun little tournament. Challenges you as an angler. You won't want to miss the next one, all right? Guys, SoCash Fishing, out.